dreams we were placed for everyone we knew. <sighs> So far, by choosing Velvet, you've helped us turn Hi everyone, it is 22, uh, 25, on the 28th, uh, September of 2015, yeah, um, right, I was just asking what Lucky just said, I just, uh, I just, well, I've just watched his, uh, his video. What would it be if you could, like about if you could live forever? Well, sometimes I wonder if I've died about ten times before, not even known it, because I seem to go on forever. Um, since the beginning of time, maybe we are. Maybe the world is just a massive, great time recording machine. God, I've got so many fears on things like this. Sometimes I think because if I when I dream. I can go right back to my first job. I get it mixed up with other jobs I've done in the dream. And I sometimes think, am I in a deep coma somewhere <coughs> for the last 50 odd years since I left school? And I'm being monitored, you know. Um, what was his name? What was his name? Bruce Willis made something like that once. You know, he'd gone in his sort of machine, he lived a different life like a video but it all goes wrong and, you know and you're not aware of it it's like being in, in a dream I forget what it was called now um, but sometimes I do wonder that you know um, if, are you your own ultimate God as I don't like the term God really I mean it's a lot of rubbish that but what is the biblical acceptance of a God um, you know you say, well, I live forever. I mean, we can't really understand what forever is. Or like, when people say, oh, we've probably always been here. Well, how could we have always been here? I mean, we are taught there's a starting point when you're born, end born when you die. End born. End gone, you know, gone when you die. There's got to be a beginning, not necessarily an end, but there's got to be a beginning. You know, I mean... Is time a circle? And so, yeah, well, it goes round and round. Yeah, it sounds a lot. So you say, hang on, who made the circle? And if who made the circle? Who made them that made that circle? And who made them that made that? And they just go round and round. But I can't see how time can have a beginning. If you go about the Big Bang, if that's true, which I'm not sure, they say it come out of nothing. Or What's nothing? How can something come out of nothing? You drive yourself mad. I made a similar sort of video like this before once. But, you know, you drive yourself around a twist. Just go nuts. Um, you have to stick with what we think is reality. I mean, sometimes I'll be sitting down and I swear somebody's pressed my arm and I look and it's not. It's a nerve. So how do we know that any of this is work could all be nerves being pressed. You know, I mean, God, dear, I've done some deep thinking every time. But it, 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 just drive yourself around a twist. It's best just to deal with what's around now. I mean, you know, I examine that flat earth thing and all that. It makes sense. If you believe in a planet or a ball, which I do, now that can make sense. You can manipulate anything to come around to your way of thinking, your opinion. Um, nothing to do with that, but the lamp I did not use broke, so I've got another one on. It's a bit bright, but there you go. I don't know, more like Father Christmas than ever. Um, yeah, so lucky. My answer to you is no answer, really. It's like. It drove me crack so I worked it out to my satisfaction. Um, when they say the glass is half empty, right, is it half full or is it half empty? It drove me around a twist for a moment and then I thought, it's both. It's half empty and it's half full. Whether some people come to that conclusion instantly, I don't know, but I'm a bit slow and simple. Shut it, wife, before you say anything. And, uh, it's that sort of thing. What is life? What is the universe? 
are the flat earth people right? Are the people who believe in the ball right? Is the Bible right? Is it rubbish? Is atheism rubbish? Is evolutionary rubbish? Who knows? You'd have to get, if it's true, Doctor Who's TARDIS. You've got to actually believe there and not only be there. But not only that, but you'd have to work out what the hell you're seeing. I mean, I go back and see the dinosaurs. Well, if it's true, well, you know, some people reckon no, there wasn't dinosaurs. So, so they were around just a few thousand years ago. Not as the birds are now, but with man, they found footprints near dinosaur footprints, all right? But if, you, if you went back, would you really want to live in a world where dinosaurs are going to eat you every two seconds? You know, you'd have to be pretty good to be eating every two seconds, wouldn't it? You know, and I reckon they, they got feathers on them and always, it's all conjecture, like, you know, or even conjecture. You can make, you know, anything fit your whatever. You know, you can make anything fit inside the suitcase if you fold it in the right way. That's not bad, is it? Not the top of your head, that. Underneath this hat, there might be wheels and robots running around. Who knows? You know, I just thought I would answer this instead of leaving a comment, which would be about three and a half pages. So, there you go, Lucky. I like these different questions you come out with, though. You know, I sit there and think of him. Questions like that. Um, not much of a day, really, for me. I had to go out and pick up drugs and stuff for me and my wife. Uh, I didn't feel too good. My wife went to the club and I went back to bed. I didn't get up to about half two, two o'clock. Got up out of the shower, skipped the shave. Went up only to find that the doctors, for some unknown reason, was closed all afternoon. <sighs> Great, isn't it? Great service. Um, so I couldn't pick the prescription up for me wife. Mine was all right, because they sent it over electronically. So mine was all ready at the, uh, at the chemist for me to pick up. What did I do after that? Did a bit of sunbathing, because the sun was quite hot when the breeze stopped. That weren't bad. Pumped into one of my mate's wives. He said he'd gone in the hospital this morning to have his eyes done and put needles in his eyes or something. Oh, God. Then one and I went to the library and scammed a few pages of things, you know, newspapers. Uh, didn't come home, really. Didn't buy anything. Not even, a, not even milk, because we'd done it the day before. So... Uh, I thought I'd bung that in, called two birds with one stone. Eight minutes, oh. Yeah. Well, I said, he's, I think he's going to make him, be able to put a video up tomorrow. Um, that'll be the 29th here. Yeah. Right. What was it? One of the Windows um, programs I had, it used to put up all the clocks around the world. So I used to know what's going on in America. I, I can't remember now. I mean, you could, Oklahoma could be 10 years, 10 years, 10 hours back or in the future. I don't know, really. I tend to think that when I'm making these, it is something like, you'll probably, it's probably 10.30 in the morning there, where it's 22.30, I don't know. I don't know how that works, you see. I used to know all that when I used to do a lot of short work listen on the big radio and that's how I learnt a bit of Morse code and you know uh, all about radio sideband and the rest of it ham radio the lot you know but I don't listen now there's no kicking it anymore even if, you know you think I'll pick up China it should be great when you can just turn on their page on this and there it is it's took the I don't know it took the kick out of it really Hardly oh, ever listen. I've got a shortwave radio, a small one, but then you listen to the domestic one, like you see too. Anyway, I'm rambling away, as usual. Um, yeah, that's it. Tomorrow. Don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Not a lot. Try and pick up the drugs tomorrow. Hopefully the bloody surgery's open and I can pick them up and get all of them. It's market day. I don't know if my mate will turn up, he's, you know, very frail now with his secondary cancer. 
Might give her a ring before I go out there and see if he's starting, you know, see if we can come up. Anyway, see you later. Uh, so, it's a good night to Brian when he gets this. Lucky, uh, Sue, and anyone else I've probably forgot or left out, which is typical. Oh, Janet. Sorry, Janet. Life and a half shell. Yeah. So, good night from me and a good night from her. Probably.